What's up guys welcome to CR IT designers this is Chetan and in this tutorial i'm going to explain my workflow to create this x model so without further ado let's get started rather than tracing the image or using the mesh words or plane i have decided to create this model with the help of curve so i can handle the curvedness of that model to create that curved structure of the blade you can see with the help of curves i can easily create that curved structure then just i need to select both curve and i need to convert them into the mesh and i just need to use the bridge edge loops or i just need to create a faces with the help of those curves easily i can create the curve structure with the help of this bezier curves or any curve so that's why you need to start the curvedness of the model then just i have added the cylinder here because just to get the idea from where to where i need to create that blade structure so just i have added that cylinder just for the guidance so i can create that blade structure at there then just you need to create the right topology at there these methods are very easy to create the topology because i have used the curves at there then i have converted those curves into the objects into the mesh and then you can fill these gaps by pressing f or by using the bridge edge loop and you can create that 2d structure for the blade of that x start with the 2d and then add a thickness on it means use the extra operation so it will be more easier for you to work on a 2d so you can create your 3d model then the next important thing is you need to add the booleans so that's why you need to use the simple parameters simple objects to create those booleans and use the simple boolean operation which is difference to create the booleans like this easily you can create the boolean details on a 2d plane also and you can create the right topology for those booleans also on a 2d surface so it will be more easier you don't need to worry about the 3d means two layers of the model if you can understand then and then you just need to apply the boolean modifiers and now just need to create the supportive loop structure on your model to so support the structures for those booleans so you can see the subdivision workflow isn't start yet you can use the knife tool to create that loop structure you need to have the proper loop structure on your booleans and make sure you should keep a same distance for those edge loops for that loop structure so you will get a decent shading on your model it is very important step when you create any kind of booleans with the subdivision workflow so use the knife tool and create a loop structure around those booleans and now in the 3.0 it is very easy to use the knife tool and the knife tool has amazing feature if you didn't watch the tutorial in which i have explained the new features of the blender knife tool then link is in the i button so you can watch that tutorial and you will get a lot of knowledge from that tutorial how to use the knife tool in the blender 3.0 so use the knife tool to create a cut like this and you make sure you create a right loop structure at there for the model you can see first i have created the simple block out then i have added few booleans on it then i have created the supporting edges for those booleans then i have created the loop structures around those booleans and then i try to add more edge loops on the model and then i am creating this loop structures for that outer border of that model so when we add the subd modifier so we will get a decent form at there now you need to refine this curve structure you need to use the simple edge slide operation at there to give the right position to the words so you can maintain the good curve structure at there then you can see after adding the subd modifier i'm getting the decent look at there on the model just make a backup collection and then use the extrude operation and extrude it along the z axis and add a little bit of thickness at there on the model it's very easy and now you can see you can play with the shape of that blade and you can add the sharper harder edges at there i didn't add the support to loop cuts on a 2d surface so you can see i'm adding the support to loop cuts on a 3d surface If you are going to add the supporting loop cuts on a 3D surface it is more easy and useful because so you can understand where should i add the loop cuts to maintain that form where i need to add the loop cuts to get the harder edges so add the supporting loop cuts on a 3D form then just you need to work on that booleans and then you need to create a little bit of design on that boolean
and now just I'm creating the handle for this X. Give the right position to the blade and give the right position to that handle and then you can easily work on it. Use the reference images for the guide so you can understand how we can fix this blade and handle together. And creating a handle it's not that much difficult game because it's very easy. You can easily create any kind of handle at there for the X. Just you need to use the simple modeling operations at there to create that handle. The modeling is not difficult. You need to experiment with your modeling skill to achieve the decent results. When you experiment, you learn something from it. So that's why your experimentation is important. And try to tackle the different different design, different different tasks, different different operations for the modeling to improve your modeling skill. I want to fix this handle on the blade. So I can fix this handle with the help of nuts and bolts. So that's why I have created the simple boolean detail at there. So I can fix the nuts or bolts at there. Fix this handle on the blade. That's it. So creating a model, it's not difficult. Then I have used the kit patch part to fill the models to add more details on this X. To add the nuts and bolts details at there to fix the handle to the blade. I have given the link of this kit bash. You can get it on our Gumroad store. You need to observe the real world object. According to that, you need to build your model. So you will have an idea that how this model works. So it will be more easier for you to create your models. If you have the bunch of reference images of the real world objects, you know the functions of that model, then you can easily create that model. So it won't be more difficult for you. You need to understand the process of how to create something from the ground up, from the scratch. Yeah, you can use the reference images, but you need to do the brainstorming to understand how you can create any object from the scratch. You will fail a lot of time, but you need to stick on it and you need to find out the solution to create that model, to create that form. There are a bunch of different ways to create a similar kind of model. So you need to find out which way is a shorter and easier for you to create that model. So you need to create the same model with the different techniques, with the different ways. So you can understand the different ways to create that model and you can understand which is the most easier way to create that model, to create those details, to achieve the same results. That's important. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video, take care.